Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're going to do Journeyman Silver Cross. Now this is a whiskey because of its unique mash bill and this is relatively young, aged in very small five gallon casks. So five gallons of this at a time. And uh, that's pretty freaking cool. So this came in in the top three of my best whiskeys of 2022. And, and I never did a proper review of it last year uh, because honestly, I didn't want to open the bottle. <laughs> I was hoping to get my hands on a second one before I opened this one. And unfortunately they were sold out and that was not to be. So this is my only one and I wanted to do a full review for it because I think it's that special. Now, this is the Silver Cross. Why is it a whiskey and not a bourbon? Okay, so the mash bill on this is pretty unique and I don't know off the top of my head of anyone else doing this. The ingredients are all organic. The mash bill is 25% rye, 25% wheat, 25% corn, 25% barley. So four grain, all organic, all in equal proportions, and then aged in five gallon barrels. And I already poured that. So five gallon barrels, tons of oak to whiskey ratio, and, and it you know fast ages the whiskey. I mean, look how dark it is. The, and this stuff is only in the barrel for reportedly, they're not age stated, but it's less than a year. So it's amazing what you can do with a five gallon barrel in less than a year. Now this is a store pick. It's a store pick for a local bar and gastro pub here. It's literally like a mile and a half from my house. And, and that's brick and barrel gastro pub in, in Abacoa, Jupiter, Florida. And, and they are, an awesome pub, gastro pub, uh, bar, great selection. Food is chef's kiss. So good, so good. Anyway, let's whiskey. Let's shwishki. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I get Oddly enough, I get a candy cane. I get a candy cane, like a Christmas red and white candy cane. Caramel, I get dark red fruit. There's a meaty, chocolatey, almost fudginess to it. There's also a warm, like brown bread, like Outback Steakhouse bread, you know, the brown loaf. Ugh, I can't think what that's called. Not pumpernickel, I'm not thinking of that nasty trash. Ugh. Like buttered brown bread. Hmm. A little bit of cinnamon. confectioner sugar, possibly and brown sugar. And that candy cane note, it's almost like a, almost a spearmint, but more like a candy cane. That's, that's wild. All right, let's taste. Oh man, that is just so effing good. Wow, wow. Caramel, butterscotch, a rye zinginess, along with a wheat zinginess. Cinnamon into oak with a vanilla finish that just lingers just real quiet it's not screaming at you now this is cast strength this is 111 proof
Mm. Oh. It almost makes me see stars. That is so flipping good. Man. The, the experience, the drinking experience with this is so different, yet so relatable to bourbon and rye. But because of that unique mash bill, it's so different. But yet, I can still find all the things that I'm looking for in a typical bourbon or rye. But they're just presented in a different and unique way. And that's fantastic to me. Oh, man. That's just downright amazing. There, I really can't even describe fully the ride that that flavor profile goes on. I'd really have to sit around for a couple hours and write down everything because it's almost, it's weirdly almost like in flavor concepts instead of normal flavoring notes. It's the way it flows and just slides from one thing to the next is just outrageous. So literally one of my favorite whiskeys that I own right there. Oh, it starts to go tobacco. Oh, what is that? It's not leather. But it's like a in that like a lot of times when I get tobacco, I get tobacco and leather kind of together. And and this is it's not quite leather but there's a tobacco note like a you know the kind of the aftertaste of, a, of being around someone smoking a cigar and and this almost leatherish note it's it's not quite like leather it might be more like a faux leather you know like fig leather I think that might be what it is. Wow. Like, you know, like the fake leather in a car seat or whatever. Mm. That's just outrageous. I love that they're doing weird stuff. I love journeyman, clearly. I like craft whiskey. So I like tasting new and different and weird. So if you like new and different and weird, then you're in the right place. Comment, like, subscribe. Stick around. We're going to try some weird shit, okay? If you like weird whiskeys, unique, different than your typical Blantons, you're in the right place. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a great day.